reason I wrote the book is because I'm very involved with the transition movement, which is trying to address peak oil and climate change, but I think there's widespread concern as to whether the, the scale of our responses are adequate to the scale of the problem. Um, and so in the book I wanted to look at the latest science on that and figure out whether we actually are realistically addressing those issues. In the book I outline four scenarios. Uh, the first of these is denial, in which we simply fail to acknowledge the scale of the uh, environmental challenges that we face and reap the consequences of that. The second is hitting the wall, in which we do acknowledge that the problems are there, but we try to deal with them with, with current ways of thinking and, and current market-based mechanisms and these kind of, these kind of approaches. Um, the third is what I've called the impossible dream, which is where we, we think that uh, renewable energy technologies and these things will, will completely solve the problems for us and take them away, but actually find that when it comes to the crunch, they don't do that. And the fourth of them is our sort of best realistic case scenario, which is the transition vision in which we um, actually shift our, our cultural stories and our ways of addressing these problems and manage to move into a, a thriving future. I think there's a widespread misconception that peak oil and climate change somehow might cancel each other out in some way. Um, but in reality, it's more like a, a sort of tug of war between the two issues that, on the one hand, from a climate change perspective, we might say, well, let's just ban all fossil fuel extraction tomorrow because it's, it's really that serious. Um, but if we did that, the level of suffering that would cause would be, would be unacceptable, unbearable, because our, our society is so dependent on these fossil fuels. So what the real sustainability tightrope that we're walking is trying to reduce emissions and reduce fossil fuel extraction as quickly as possible whilst avoiding that level of suffering. And in the timeline, that's what I've tried to examine and tried to draw out by looking at the latest science. The real focus of the book, though, is on the, the transition vision, which is another of the four scenarios. And we're looking at what we consider our, our best realistic case scenario as to how we can address climate change and peak oil and also move into a, a happier, happier, thriving future in which some of the issues which, which concern us anyway, regardless of the environmental crisis, things like a, a greater sense of community and, a, and of well-being and of engagement, um, come together to provide us with a, a happier future.